When will you know whether Christopher's uh, treatment was successful? Well, of course, I mean, his back will never get totally better, but... His back? Well, it wasn't the old, um, waterworks end of things, then. Can I have some ice in here, please? Uh, yeah, of course. Sorry, Alan, you were saying? Uh, no, no, there's nothing. <laughs> <coughs> well, well, Jack, all ready for topping? No, Alan. My back's been playing me up. <laughs> what did you mean? No, hey, you should get the address of uh, Chrissy's doctor. <laughs> Rachel, do you know anything about this quarry? No, not a thing. And to be honest, I don't think that Chris knows anything either. Huh. Or he's seen fit not to let you know what's going on, because I can't imagine he'd approve. It'll bring jobs and prosperity to the area, surely. You can't be against that. What the heck would you know? You've only lived here for five minutes. I just thought... Yeah, well, I'd rather you didn't. And for starters, the only prosperity it'll bring will be to Frank Tate and his cronies. Aye, and all the quarry wagons thundering through the village. They won't get planning permission for something like that. You are. He's already got it. Yeah, we've been to planning office. We got permission a few years back when we were still in the old farmhouse. Yeah, nobody thought out of it in those days, did they, Jerry? I doubt if anybody will think out of it now. What the devil's that? Was probably some kids with a get up blasted or something. And you were worried about noise from quarry wagons? No, oh, go and sort it out. Up. And the hotwood. It's disappeared from his foster home. Ow! Sorry. <laughs> Just you. Hurting the lad the second a social worker turns up. Hey, don't blame me. He was nosing at you two. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Robert, you were friendly with Andy, weren't you? Suppose. I don't expect you've got any idea where he might be. He said he had a gang, didn't he, Robert? In Leeds. I don't know. I've been checking around his old neighbourhood. Nobody there's admitting to seeing him. Well, I suppose he could head up here. He's managed it before. Oh, it's a long way to walk for little, and You wouldn't think they could make it to London either, but they do. Well, we'll wait for a knock on the door in the middle of the night, then. That's when he usually appears. He just wouldn't settle at his foster parents. They took him to school. He'd disappear after registration, hang around the shopping precinct. He's a bright little lad, though, school or no. It's often the brighter ones who end up in trouble. No sign of him. Ned and I checked the outbuildings. I did the bunk barn. They were empty. Looks like it might be King's Cross. Yeah. We'll gear them to looking for him down there. Thanks for trying. You're welcome. <laughs> 